Hello, everyone. My name is Dino Mustafa, and I work here in uh, Ontario, Canada. Uh, I'm a trainer at a brokerage uh, selling commercial as well as personal line insurance. And I also have a second job. I work as a trainer. I teach uh, insurance courses uh, at the Insurance Institute of Canada, uh, Ontario. Now, let me just say a couple of words about myself, and then we'll get right to um, what I'm um, talking about in this video. So some of my qualification in insurance, I'm a fellow of Chartered Insurance Professional, uh, Canadian Risk Management Professional, as well as I'm a Certified Training and Development Professional. So what I would like to talk about today is how to pass the REBO exam. Now, what the reason I'm starting this project? Because in my brokerage, there are many of my colleagues who are not brokers and who try to become a broker by passing the REBO. I mean, in order to sell insurance in Ontario, you must have the REBO license. It's called the level one license. It's also known as the level one acting under supervision. You have to have a sponsor. You have to be working for a company. With the level one, you cannot run your own company. So many of my colleagues, um, they start to do the REBO exam and they fail. Some of them, they fail like several times. And in one year, I think you're only allowed three attempts and then you have to wait for the next year. It's very frustrating. But at the same time, there have been some of my colleagues who passed the exam with over 90% in one shot. So it's not that it's it's difficult, I mean, so difficult that, you know, you can't do that. Yes, you, you can actually do very well. Then why this difference? Why some people, they pass and some people don't pass? That's because of the amount of time you spend in preparing for this exam. I'm going to be very honest with you. This exam is not easy. There is so much packed in this exam. Automobile, property liability, general insurance, so on and so forth. There's so much packed. You need to know all this to become a licensed broker because you will be talking to the customers. You will be providing them advice on what type of insurance they need. It is a huge responsibility. So Rebo, Registered Insurance Broker of Ontario, they want to make sure that you're, you're well-versed with the insurance concepts, and when you're talking to the clients, you feel confident. And so you don't make any mistakes. So because public, they trust us, insurance brokers. So we are also called fiduciaries, meaning that we are people of trust. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to help anyone who is preparing to write the REBO licensing exam. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to do two things. I've already started this project. In fact, this is my uh, kind of an updated intro. You may have seen my intro previously. I did about a month ago, but I just want to add some more information. So I'm doing this intro one more time. So I'm doing two things here. One, I'm going to lecture. I'm going to do in-depth lectures on every concept of insurance that is contained in the Rebo prep material. Page by page, paragraph by paragraph, concept by concept. I'm going to take my time. I've already done six chapters. I'm going to show you in a moment how many chapters I've done and where you can find them. And I'm going to continue that. And the second thing I've, already, I've also started, this I've received several feedbacks, very positive feedback to analyze questions, Rebo questions, and so, so in my opinion, what is the right answer and how I can back up my claim that this is the right answer? I'm going to explain that. And I'm also going to explain to you why the other answer choices in the question are wrong. What the reason? Now, one caveat is that don't completely depend on my explanation and my choice of answer. You need to do your homework. We're going to do this as a team. Now, if you find that my answer is not correct, 
you have a feeling that this is not the right answer, when you're watching the YouTube video, put it on the comments. So I can, I get the comments immediately emailed to me so I can respond to it. So we can do this as a team. And that's how we work. And also others will benefit from the, uh, you know, from our uh, interaction. Okay, let's do that. So as I said to you just a minute ago, level one broker acting under supervision, all individuals must meet the qualifications outlined in section five of Ontario Regulation 991 of the RIB Act, Registered Insurance Brokers uh, Act. This includes, but is not limited to the following. First, passing the entry level examination or its equivalency. So this is what we're talking about here, okay? And so satisfying the only business or employment requirement. Well, when you become a, when you pass the exam and when you apply for, register for the Rebo license, you're gonna be given all this information, what you need to do. And uh, it's a very seamless, pro uh, very seamless process. And then you register for the Rebo license. You'll be given a, like a Rebo ID number and everything. And then you must have an employment with the Rebo registered general insurance brokerage firm or an insurance company. So the employment, which is also known as the sponsorship, is not required to write the examination, but it is requirement for registration as a broker, as a Rebo licensed uh, broker, okay? But you can just go without working for any company, you can go and write this exam and get, uh, you know, uh, get your uh, license. All right, so you can go to this uh, website, uh, rebo.com slash examinations, and it gives you all the information you need to know how to register for the exam. Um, both, I believe, the IBAO, Insurance Broker Association of Ontario, as well as the Insurance Institute of Canada, um, they both conduct, uh, I should say Insurance Institute of Ontario, they both uh, conduct uh, uh, a range for examinations. I believe right now there is no in-person exam. Everything is done. It's all started before COVID, as you know, uh, uh, through a company called Proctor U. I believe they are based in California. Proctor U is being used by companies worldwide to do their virtual exams. So anyway, check it out. Go to this website. They have all the information. Now, this is the material that I'm using. And I can tell you, if you ask around through your colleagues, your friends, someone will have this because this material has been around from 2011. You can see the date here, the 2011. I'll get to this page in a moment. The second page is chapter 12, why I have this here. But let's talk about this on the page on the left-hand side, the picture. So. If you find this material, make sure that this says January 2011. And like I said, like thousands and thousands of brokers have used this material that you, you are looking at on the screen and they passed the Rebo exam, okay? You should be able to find this by just asking around. Let's say you do find it for, through one of your friends, then make sure the chapter 12 is dated April 2017. Now, why is that? That's because there was a huge auto reform, automobile insurance reform that took place. And so they incorporated all the changes and they updated this chapter. So that's why it's from April, 2017. So make sure, okay. So if you want to follow my lectures, you need to have this material. But then if you don't get this material, you don't have to worry about it. You can have some other material because as I lecture through, I'll be saying that, okay, uh, we're going to start the liability chapter. So you can open up any material that you have. You can open the liability chapter. And, you know, I'll tell you one thing. For the most part, they cannot be very different. Even though they updated IBO, they updated this, uh, I think, a few years ago. They have the newer version. But the format and the information contained, it, it cannot be different because insurance cannot be different at all, okay? It has to be the same. So you will be able to follow. So like I said before, you may have to ask around from friends or colleagues and borrow this. IBA was uh, phased out the version that I'm using for the lectures. Uh, even if you get the latest version from IBAO, 
you may be able to follow my lectures based on topics that I lecture on. Just give me one second here. I just have a phone call coming in. Sorry about that. So if you wish to purchase the newer version of the Rebo prep material from IBAO, you just email them at education at ibao.on.ca. And they are very, very helpful. They have excellent customer service. And also you can go to this website at the bottom of the page here, ibao.org slash education slash become a broker. There's a lot of information. Okay, just check it out. So just to complete this uh, intro, these are some of the chapters I've already lectured on, and you can see I've already uploaded them to YouTube. So just go to youtube.com slash at Dino Mustafa, and um, you can see I've labeled them properly, chapter one, and some of the chapter I had to split them into several parts because I don't wanna rush this lecture. I wanna do this lecture uh, clearly and slowly and, and uh, properly. Okay, so I want to take my time. So you can see chapter three, I have uh, split them into two parts. I'll clearly mention that it's um, um, part one and part two here. Yes, I have mentioned here. And also chapter six, I remember splitting them into four parts. So at the, the, at the bottom of the page, you see his chapter six, part one of four. And then also this, uh, the second thing I've done is I already mentioned to you is I have, uh, so far posted about 300 questions completely analyzed. So what I do in these lectures, I give you my own reasons why I think a particular answer choice is correct and why the other answer choices are wrong. And uh, if you want to challenge me, definitely you can challenge me. I would suggest that you look it up. And if you want to challenge me, you post a comment and then we'll take it up right away. The comments I get, they get emailed to me and I will work on it and I'll give you my own answer. I also provide definitions and background information on various concepts, which you may find helpful to understand the material as I'm going through these questions. And I, as I told you before, I've received several positive feedbacks on these lectures. So please go to youtube.com slash at Dino Mustafa. And um, I hope this will be beneficial to you. Anyway, I just want to wish you all the best Thank you so much, everyone.